Welcome back to Squawk Box. Rick Santelli here live at CME HQ with the breaking news of the morning, starting out with durable good orders. These are January preliminary, expecting a number down 4%, down 4.5%. That is the weakest month-over-month -month change going all the way back to April of 2020. Strip out transportation, and it zooms up into positive territory so we can see the culprit here up seven tenths of one percent when you strip out transportation and up seven tenths well that is the best number going back to march of last year up eight tenths on capital good orders non-defense x aircraft much better than the unchanged expected that's a proxy of course for capital expenditures and finally if we switch gears from orders to shipments up 1.1 percent that's a powerful number the best since october of last year and we see that interest rates are hovering right about where they were 394 before the data uh, was released a couple of things very quickly two-year notes are the only maturity on the treasury curve that's taken out its fall post-covid high yield close we haven't seen it in any other maturity three years about 13 basis points away five years 24 basis points away 10 year at 394 they're about 30 basis points away from their 4.24 high yield close uh, back in uh, uh, october and it hasn't closed at four percent or higher since november 9th it's one of the main reasons that many are questioning exactly what's going on with the inverted curve and how much damage may be caused to the economy by the federal reserve's tightening policies of course as we see many maturities bucking the trend even though the markets have really come more in line taking recent data uh, with respect to where the ultimate uh, line in the sand may be for the terminal rate as you look at Fed fund futures. Becky, back to you.